What's up guys, Epic John Twizon here. We are back with a new quadcopter build. Uh, if you've watched the recent videos, I'll post them up over here. Uh, I ended up crashing due to a malfunction in my GoPro uh, strap. But now I have ordered a new frame and new motors. I got the Emax 2300 KV motors and the Aris 300 millimeter uh, frame, all carbon fiber. Uh, I bought this frame mainly because it has a specific GoPro mount, which I will be putting together. Uh, and so you guys can check that out. The ESCs I will be reusing, the GPS, the NASA GPS, and uh, the FPV gear will all be the same. Uh, I also bought some new heat sink, so it will clean up very nicely. Uh, but for now, we are putting the motors into the frame, and then I'm going to assemble the frame, and then after that, we'll hook up the electronics. So uh, as you can see here, I already hooked one up. Basically, it's just four bolts holds the motor in the middle. And uh, when you're putting these together, uh, there's the center piece, which is the actual motor that spins. You want to make sure that's not touching uh, the wall, otherwise it won't spin freely. So that goes on there, and which is really cool about this is they actually have an arrow pointing to which way the motor spins. So, well, later for me when I put it together, I'll know where to put it, whether it should be front right, front left, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so I will get back to you guys once I've mounted all four motors. Okay, so now I have soldered all of the motors to the ESCs and I put some heat shrink on it just to keep it nice and neat. Uh, I have it all laid out as it will be, front right, front left, rear left, rear right. And now I'm just putting on the top uh, guard, which is going to look like that with that spacer in between. And it's going to sit nice and clean right there and I'm hoping to put the ESC in between that space so I'll get back to you guys once I mount that okay guys so I've wired up the ESC's to the motors and I've mounted them to the frame and I kind of just zip tied everything together the frame is a lot tighter than I thought so the ESC's wouldn't fit into that uh, hole or space that you see so I guess I'll just mount them to the body and I'll just have to mount the flight controller behind it. Uh, looks like it should have enough clearance, but it's coming along nicely. I'll check back in with you guys once uh, I have the, I guess the flight controller and the LEDs mounted. Okay guys, so the quadcopter is finished. Uh, I just kind of just pushed it out and finished the whole thing. Uh, so let me give you a quick tour. Uh, so the 2300 kV motors are mounted to 15 amp ESCs. Uh, the Fat Shark 600 TVL high definition camera is hooked up to the uh, Immerse RC transmitter, 600 uh, MW transmitter. I'm still using the DJI NASA flight controller, which is flashed to version two. I have the same LEDs as the last one on here and that's going to be powering the uh, FPV. Uh, uh, the frame is the Aris 300 millimeter frame, all carbon fiber, which is nice and lightweight. And they, the big thing is it comes with a GoPro um, mount that's actually made for the GoPro. So there's a screw down here that tightens it and pushes this up to like kind of lock it in and there's foam in here to kind of protect it from shaking and these rubber pieces kind of protect it from the vibrations when filming uh, it's reinforced with this aluminum frame and it gives me also the adjustability to pan it back if I need to get a shot while I'm kind of flying full speed so that's it uh, Overall, it took me around six hours to build. Uh, it was a nice build, fun build. Um, not too hard to do. One thing I should mention is it did come with its own board. 
I just decided to use the tarot board I had already everything hooked up to instead of unsoldering and resoldering it to the board that came with the Aris. Um, other than that, we'll catch you guys on the next video where I'll do some test flights. Okay, see ya.